What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here, RTSMobile.com, bringing you a quick video for Eve Echoes. Today, we're going to talk about how to gain blueprints in game from farming anomalies. So, you can see here this Inquisitor uh, anomaly tier 2 at the top of my Inquisitor list there. I'm going to go ahead and jump to that in a second. But the Inquisitor or the Scout titled anomalies have unique loot and unique events which you don't find at normal anomalies. Now, what do you mean, Randy? Well, I will tell you what I mean. First, um, we're going to get to the warp gate, which is actually the event. So when you blink to the anomaly, you don't see any units. All you see is kind of a, a warp gate floating in the air. We're going to click this warp gate, you can see right here, and we're going to activate it. Now, once we activate it, it's going to port us to the next location, which is going to have multiple waves of anomalies, kind of per usual, right? Once I kill those anomalies in the next wave, I'm going to select the additional warp gate. You can see right there on the upper uh, portion of my screen. The next warp gate is there for whenever I do kill these anomalies. Then I will activate that warp gate, and I will proceed to the final uh, sequence of anomalies to kill in order to unlock some chests. Now inside these chests, you're going to find fantastic loot from rare warp cores to rare blueprints to all kinds of things there that you're not going to be able to loot off your typical anomalies or if you can loot them it's going to be much rarer you're almost guaranteed to get some decent loot from these chests that come at the end so now I'm going to the next warp gate here you can see I'm porting to the next I just activated it we're going to jump to the next location here and then we're going to go ahead and uh, and kill that next wave baby gonna kill that next wave happy Wednesday happy hump day so after we kill that wave you can already see um, there's some kind of some white boxes there that you can see. I'm kind of highlighting it. They have little lines through them, and those white boxes are the loot boxes. There are four of them here. This is a level two anomaly, uh, Inquisitor anomaly. There are four boxes, and they should each have blueprints and lots of nice materials inside. So now that I've killed the frigates, I'm going to go ahead and look at that. Yes, five blueprints, 48 conductive polymers. Yes. Very exciting. On to the next box. Here we go. And in just a minute, I will... Ooh, look at that. More more blueprints. In just a minute, I'm going to go ahead and recap the actual loot that I got overall. I don't want to make this video too long, so I love you guys long time. And uh, stay tuned for the next uh, blinking second where I tell you about all the loot I get. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Randy here, coming at you with all the loot I just got from this fantastic Sancha Inquisitor Anomaly. Again, do not skip the Inquisitor or the Scout Anomalies. They give these fantastic chests at the end of the events. They give tons of loot. This is the entire loot catch from this event. I did no other events. I did no other looting. This is all from this one event. So I've got a lot of MK1 stuff that I can reprocess for salvage materials. Fantastic. I also have a ton of these components that I get from salvaging ship debris, which is great. This is fantastic. Look at that, 57 conductive polymers. That's a lot. So uh, that's nice. And then the real uh, gem here, the real reason you want to do this, on top of all the other decent loot, right, and the bounties, right, I got like 200k S from the bounties. That's great. Um, the real reason you do it is for the blueprints. Check this out. Oh, look at this. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four. Twenty-four blueprints! Ah! Yes! Yes! Twenty-four blueprints. Okay? So, what do you get in these blueprints, Randy? You ask. Well, accuracy fall-off adjustment, ten percent. This is a modification. It looks like this is a rig. I think it's, I don't know what it is. Let's look at the market. What does the market say? Looks like a rig. It's expensive. This is definitely a rig. So check this out. Two rigs. What's this? Two, three more rigs. Look at that. Five rigs. Just off those five rigs, if I happen to craft them right now, and they're all selling for 600, 700K plus, I mean, you're looking at three million right there. Three more rigs. Okay, four and a half million. Let's just call everybody 500K, okay? So 24 at 500k, that's 12 million, 12 million isk to make all of these. Look at this, some more rigs. 12 million isk uh, if I sold all 24 of these rigs at 500 grand. Okay, boom, 12 million isk. 
Uh, I've got to get the components for them, clearly. I don't have the materials to make everything, but that is a separate conversation, okay? So, this is the loot I got. I don't want to spend too much time going through it. I hope you liked the video. I love you guys a long time. Thanks for being great viewers. Uh, look out for my next elliptical video tomorrow. And until then, stay safe, fly safe, Randy L. Where's the, uh, the end button? Here it is. See you later.